Well, it's fun. I mean, I always liked models, but I'm definitely not six foot two and I'm not a model. So just to have someone like appreciate what you do and how you look and the effort you put into your job, it's really inspiring to, you know, want to give your best for them too and make a good photo shoot and have something to remember and have something that maybe your mom doesn't like as much, but <laughs> everyone else is like, wow, that was really cool, you know? Now, they pretty much are all really excited about it. <laughs> yeah. No, most people, I mean, I think anytime you get girls modeling, people love it. And uh, it's, it's, I think it's a good inspiration because you don't, you don't have to, you can be really good at a sport, but also feel beautiful. And um, I think sponsors realize that and friends realize that. So um, it's, it's cool to be good at both. Also einerseits sind das natürlich Sportler, aber ein Sport, also die, unsere Sportler speziell hier sind halt sind Frauen und äh, ich finde es toll, dass man sie als solche darstellt. Ich glaube, dass jeder Mensch gern von sich gute Fotos sieht und bei mir sehen, also bei mir sind die Frauen in Anführungsstrichen jetzt auch wenn wir sexy Fotos machen keine Opfer, sondern die sind, die haben eigentlich immer die Kontrolle über das Bild. Die sind immer diejenigen, die das Bild dominieren und ich möchte einfach, dass das, das sollen Göttin ist vielleicht ein übertrieben, aber das sind die wichtigsten, ja, die wichtigsten Personen natürlich in diesem, in diesem Kalender und die dominieren diesen Kalender. Das sind keine, keine Bilder, die man sich einfach anguckt, weil man sagt, oh, das sind knackige Mädels, oder so, sondern das sind richtig starke Frauen. Ja. No, that's, I think, that's the mainly problem for us, that there is no one thinking that, the, yeah, we are female riders, so we have a fen, uh, female side as well, yeah. and there is something you can, uh, you can use for advertisement. The level of women's cycling is really high. It's like you don't just put your bike in the bunch and you can win it. You have to train a lot, and even if you train, yeah, you the level is really really high nowadays mm -hmm. and uh, but the problem is that the level is still remaining really low because the people you need uh, yeah you must go forward with the sport mm -hmm. and that's what then i think advertisement with and where you see that yeah like i said that we have females mm -hmm. and uh, so you can use it as a profit and I think, like I said, that the sport is really interesting because we race a little bit shorter than the guys. And it's more like a, it's full gas from the start normally. So it's pretty fun to see, I think. I, I think that's the thing that bothers me the most is that it's the outside judgment that I think stops so many women in the sport from using what they have because they don't want to be judged because it's already a hard enough life. And I feel like it's that constant cycle of holding, holding us back. Like, we're not going to pay you a lot of money because we're not interested in your sport and we're not interested in your sport because there's, there's no, uh, from the outside looking in, there's not a lot of dynamic personalities or whatever it is, but we don't also want to be criticized for stepping outside the box. And I think it's, it's really frustrating. It is. And you know, I get a little bit of it, but I've sort of just decided that as long as my parents are happy and my few friends are happy, then why do I care what everyone else says? I'm going to tell you right now, the only problem I've ever had is concentrating too hard on winning. You know, just that, that mindset that almost makes you crazy because you care too much. So I, I need some fun in my life and this is fun and I want to take every opportunity and live every moment to its fullest. So it's being true to myself, you know, and actually finally knowing what makes me tick is having some fun along the way as well. So that's how I win actually.